So I cracked my Rivals of Ixalan uh, bundle, the Ixalan bundle, two toolkits, uh, and I also had cards from a two-headed giant um, event pre-release of Ixalan, and I did not go to the Rivals of Ixalan pre-release, uh, but one of the decks, the ones that, that my son played in the two-headed giant for Ixalan was a blue-green deck. Uh, I'm sorry, no, it, it was a white, red, green uh, dinosaur deck. I can't find it, and I know I have the dinosaur, the big dinosaur Naya uh, legendary somewhere in there. But I used it in my deck. You used it in your deck, right? So, yeah. but barring that, what I did is that I took all the cards from both Fab Packs only and the pre release cards and the packs, uh, no, no, but not the packs from the from the uh, deck builder toolkits. So those are separate and I'll add them into the mix later because I'm gonna first go through the four tribes of Ixalan and talk about the cards uh, in several videos. And then after I'm done with that, that'll kind of set the scene for Ixalan. And then I'm gonna go into each toolkit, each of the two toolkits and make a bunch of decks. Uh, so here we are. And so what I did is I took every uh, one card of each that I have outside of the toolkits <clears throat> which will add a few cards to these that I didn't pull in this selection <clears throat> and I put them in the four tribal piles and then separately I have little piles on the side for all the other cards all the cards that did not fit a specific tribe uh, and I'm gonna work those in now what I where I'm going with this here is I'm going to build what I think will be four commander decks to which I will at some point get the singles or may even pull I'm not sure if I'm gonna pull any more Ixalan <clears throat> to add to these cards so I'm just gonna go through each one so these are the pirates of course it's a three color deck and it's got a lot of cards it's probably good uh, to add only a few cards and then uh, this is the dinosaur deck and again the dinosaur deck is also in great shape but I'm and then also the uh, vampire deck is pretty weak it doesn't have enough to make a commander deck of vampires but there are lots of black vampires that I can pull from other sets I'm not sure what I'm gonna do I'm only showing the cards here and I'll keep thinking about these selections and what to do about them uh, clearly this Ixalan was meant to play with itself a lot more than it was meant to play with anything else uh, or so I think at this point and then the Merfolk are, have the same problem. Uh, I already have the commander from Dominaria, uh, and I can add blue Merfolk. I'm not sure how many green Merfolk there are in Magic. I'll have to look. I honestly don't know if the answer is zero. Uh, so okay, so let's go through the let's go through the dinosaurs and the vampires. And I don't know how long this video is going to last, so I'll just go get going with the. Uh, dinosaurs and any other card that favors dinosaurs so those are also already included in here and then uh, so I'm gonna go through dinosaurs vampires then I'm gonna go through the white cards that could go in each one and make decisions as to which one I would assign the card to and then we'll progressively do that for the two decks that have blue uh, the two decks that have black, uh, the two decks that have red, and the two decks that have green. Then I'll also uh, do a smattering of the artifacts. Every single card in, on this table will go into one of these four decks, even if I exceed the 60, and then I'll think about what I'm going to do next. I also added uh, to each selection uh, one card of the... Uh, of the cards that, that flip the the, uh, the legendary lands uh, I don't see them off the bat oh here's here's this one uh, I don't see where uh, the one that is for dinosaur that I, I gave to this deck I gave each one one because I'm gonna look at balancing uh, these decks so uh, I oh there it is and of course, the dinosaur deck gets the uh, planeswalker, and I didn't pull any planeswalker to fit into any other deck. This is from our the pre-release. I have two of these actually, 
incredibly enough, my son and I pulled the same one. So those are the dinosaurs. Those are the uh, vampires. Then uh, the pirates get... Uh, which one did I add? Oh, okay, I'm going to have to go through this. Oh, there you go. There it is. So for the pirates, I added this one. Okay. Uh, and then, I mean, I'm sorry, for the vampires. And then for the... Uh, for the mere folk, I added, okay, they're easy to find this way. Obviously, this one, which is uh, green blue already. So, perfect fit, it seems, for the mere folk deck. So, each one has something nice. Uh, and then we'll see how we, uh, we balance these for now. Uh, of course, they're not like a straight up tribal deck in the sense that you're not lording your dinosaurs, uh, even though I know you can lord vampires and mere folk. Meaning you can add a card that adds, that bumps every single card that is a vampire or a mirror folk. Okay, so I'm just going to go through uh, the cards that are in this deck. I already, I think I did order them. Yeah, I did order them. So, uh, so we can actually do a little mana curve for this. Uh, and I'll zoom out for it when I'm done. So these are the one drops. Again, some of these cards are not dinosaurs but they ask they give you some kind of bonus uh, so this one has double strike as long as you control a dinosaur and it's a one drop uh, uh, this one uh, reduces the casting cost for your dinosaurs uh, then now we're in the two drops a two drop dinosaur again some of this is a uh, limited shaft but everything's going in here for now and I don't know why I had a, re of a repeat. That was a mistake. Uh, then this dude. And I think I can zoom in a little further so I can do something like this. And that's easier on my hand. Uh, this other dude uh, is another dinosaur two drop. Uh, this guy is a human knight. Uh, but when it attacks, if you control a dinosaur, it gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. So I'm going to put it with the dinosaurs. Another two drop dinosaur, and yet another, um, another two drop dinosaur, again we have a bunch of two drop dinosaurs. This deck I think has, I think it's close to having the 40, uh, the 40 dinosaurs. So it's a three drop, and, I, and I'm even missing a few from the other deck. That my son used and I have no idea where I put it. Another three drop dinosaur. So these are the three drop dinosaurs that I have in this deck. So I guess this video will be setup and discussion of dinosaurs. Uh, okay so now we're already entering the four drops. This guy uh, has flying as long as you control a dinosaur so that's he's in a dinosaur deck all right uh, then this dude is already a four drop dinosaur then this dude is already also a four drop dinosaur one more this time a foil and now uh, pretty soon we're gonna start getting like really heavy all the fatties all the fatty dinosaurs. This guy is a four drop and it says dinosaur spells uh, you cast cost two less to cast so that's really good. That's a helper. That's one of your helper. Okay so that's my lower curve uh, and so I'm gonna zoom out and you'll see that I have two one drops, eight two drops, four three drops, and seven uh, four drops. So that's already two 10, 14, 18, 21. So that's 21 critters uh, that are dinosaurs. Okay, and I'm going to set these up here and then keep going. So 5 drop dinosaur. Another one. Oh, I should, I should show the card so you guys see it before I place it. So that one. That one. So again, this uh, tribal set uh, is really its own mini uh, magic uh, game. 
Okay, so we're still with the five drops. More five drops. I ordered 500 sleeves, and as soon as they arrived, I had already used them up. And then, oh, that's a seven, so I'm going to go to six. That's a six drop dinosaur. Okay, so this is where it gets absurd. Another six drop dinosaur. And of course, one of the stars from my Excellent Fat Pack. Another six drop. And yet another six drop. So it's got a lot of heavies. And then we get absurd with two sevens and an eight. Okay, I'm going to put it back here because I'm going to lift all of these. Uh, but as, as I do, I'm going to put them in the dinosaur pile and I'm going to discuss the dinosaur only uh, non-creature non spells. Okay, so obviously Huatl, I'm going to call her Huatl even though she's Huatli. Uh, Huatli. Uh, and this, this is a dinosaur planeswalker. Okay. Uh, I mean, she drops 3-3 three, three green dinosaur uh, creature tokens with trample uh, for zero. And for plus two, you gain life equal to the greatest power among creatures you control. So, I mean, that's going to help you uh, distance yourself from your opponent. And then the, uh, the uh, ultimate deals X damage divided as you choose among any number of target creatures. So it's not taking out your players. Uh, and then creatures damage this way uh, can't block this turn. So it's a board wipe but it still cannot take out your opponents but it can do a lot of damage uh, so this this sorcery uh, you, you reveal dinosaur for it it's one of the things for it for it uh, and then uh, this card it'll cost two less uh, if it targets a dinosaur you control so that's what you're going to be doing and this one uh, fishes out a dinosaur or a land card. And then this dude uh, will destroy a vampire or an enchantment and vampires are on white and nothing else is on white so this is where it belongs. So those are your non-creature spells that are guaranteed to be in the deck in a selection. So, so you have four, eight, twelve, sixteen, 20, 24, 28, 32, 33. So 33, and you're going to have the commander, so that's 34. Uh, so we want to add six critters, six white critters. Now remember, we could use more one drops. Uh, we had a lot of two drops, so we're not thirsting on two drops. And we could use more three drops. We only have a few three drops. So definitely three drops first, uh, one drop next. And I think we have enough four drops. And then the fatties. So let's go hunting in white. So we're going to look in white. Uh, then we're going to look in red. And then we're going to look in green. So in white... Uh, this is kind of like a death and taxes uh, thing. Don't, don't cost abilities to trigger. I think you have things to trigger. I think this, is, this fits better into a control deck. Uh, life gain is something that's really good with your vampires. Uh, some of these cards are going to be in both white uh, decks. I think this is probably one of them. And then this one also is a battle trick. Uh, so battle tricks and things that both white decks need are going to go in both. So I'm probably going to draw out another another copy if I have it. Uh, Exile target non-land permanent and opponent controls. So this is nice. If I had two, I'd put one in each. Um, of course, another big Exiler and you're, as a benefit to your opponent for doing that, they get to uh, pull a bunch of lands. I think it's a go. 
another go. Target creature gains indestructible. Yeah, why not? I'd love to use that anywhere. So these are non-creature spells. Uh, there's only one critter in here. So he's, oh, except there's only two, three critters. So the third critter, uh, it's a two drop. I think we have enough two drops, so I'm not going to take it. So I'm going to put it in the no pile, and I already put this guy in the no pile. So I'm being a little too picky, too picky perhaps, but there, these cards don't belong in a dinosaur deck. Uh, and I think I'm going to have to continue this in the next video. Uh, so in the next video, I will continue uh, adding cards to the dinosaur deck.